सर आई विश टू रेज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट इशू रिलेटिंग टू द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट I submit that looking at the number of members of this commission I find that the element of representation of the public is kept very low at the same time I should point out that the members of this commission are working very hard but somehow or other I find that the ministry has a special quality of its own so far as I am able to see there are some persons who are found on every commission and every committee that the ministry forms I believe that in the interest of the proper functioning of these committees and commissions we should take care to see that too many duties and too much of work are not given to same persons i would also submit that the university grants commission should not be a body that is controlled by the vice chancellors of the universities of india i think there are some very competent professors in our country who are in no way inferior to the vice chancellors of any university i do not see any reason why some of those professors should not find a place on this commission i would therefore submit that the whole composition of this commission should be looked into afresh and it should be given a new look in accordance with the new needs of the country there are some ministries which are sending people abroad from time to time i do not know which ministry of the government deserves the first prize in this respect but one thing is very much clear that we are sending too many persons abroad for study for research and other things i do not understand as to why persons are sent abroad for study for research and other things i do not understand as to why the secretary of this commission should have been out of this country for 7 weeks i do not understand as to why some officers should have been out of the country for so long especially when parliament session is going on i have no objection of their going out of this country but i would submit that if the officers remain out of the country for a long time i do not know how this commission will function i would say that if it is necessary to send some persons abroad it should be done but we should not make it usual practice to send many persons abroad for such a long time i say this because we are not able to get sufficient advantage from the visits of these persons abroad we are not able to put into effect all that these persons bring from abroad therefore in this matter i must submit very respectfully that we should not follow a very liberal policy we should not permit our officers to go abroad for some reason or other the next point i want to make is that this commission formed by the ministry has done good work it has extended the scope of its activities and i feel happy about it it has not confined its attention only to
to the central universities it has also been taking great interest in the affairs of the affiliated colleges it has also been taking great interest in the affairs of the associated colleges it has also been taking keen interest in the welfare of the teachers working in those colleges as a matter of fact i am very glad about it i would therefore say that in the interest of keeping up the standard of the teaching profession it is necessary that the commission should devote more attention to this than to any other body the central universities are also in the same happy position they have the first charge on the finances of the central government so far as education is concerned the other state universities are also in the same happy position they get money from state governments and other sources but when i come to private colleges i doubt if they are in a sound position they do not get any money from the state government if they get something it is very small at the same time private donations are drying up private donations which used to keep these institutions going in the past are not available now so these private colleges have to be looked after this can be done only if the university grants commission devotes some attention to them they should not be looked upon as orphans of the academic world as they have been looked upon so far when i come to my own state i find that a great deal of money is spent on government colleges i do not say that government colleges are not doing good work i agree that they are doing good work but the money that is spent on the government colleges is quite high to the enrollment